Welcome to Practice Diary. So I did a video recently about the altered scale, which I explained was a mode of the melodic minor scale. And that got me thinking about the other modes of the melodic minor scale, because there's, there's some that I use quite regularly, but there's, there's a few of them that I almost never use. And I've spoken to other jazz musicians and a lot of them say the same thing. They tend to just use a few of these modes. Um, so it's often a good idea just to go back and kind of remind yourself of all the modes and kind of think about the situations where you could musically use them. So um, yeah, that's what I've been doing this week. I've been going over my melodic minor modes. So just to briefly explain again what the melodic minor scale is, for those of you who haven't seen my other video, it's essentially, it's very similar to a major scale, but with one note different, and it's the third. So the third is a minor third instead of a major third. So if I'm in the key of D, I'm going to work in the key of D here. So D melodic minor would be D, E, F, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Now that's just one note different from a D major scale, which would be D, E, F sharp instead of F, F natural. Um, so that's all it is. That's the only difference between a major scale and a melodic minor scale. But that one note difference gives you a whole new set of modes. So you've got seven modes that you could potentially use from the, the melodic minor scale, and they all have kind of their own sound. So the first mode would obviously be the melodic minor itself. It would be... And that's actually a really useful scale to use. So that would be a great scale to use over, say, a D minor 6 chord. That would work over D minor 6 or even a D minor with a major 7. Okay, so that's the first mode of the melodic minor. And the second mode, which would start on the note E in, in our case, um, that would give us, basically it's like a Dorian scale but with a flattened second. And this would work, um, this is a scale that I don't use very often, but it would work on, on say an E minor 7 chord. <laughs> very strange sounding flat nine interval, flat and second. Anyway, so that's the second mode, and the third mode would sound something like this. Okay, so that would work on, on say, an F major seven chord with a sharp five. It's essentially like a Lydian scale, but it's got a sharpened fifth. So it works over an F major seven, but the, the five, it's, the fifth is altered. And then you've got the, the fourth mode is what I would call Lydian dominant. Now this is another one of the ones that I use quite a lot. So essentially it's like a Lydian scale because it's got a sharpened fourth. But it's it's not got a major seven like a standard Lydian scale. It's got a dominant seventh. So hence Lydian dominant. Now that's a useful scale to use on, on seventh chords. It's a bit more interesting than just playing a kind of mixolydian scale. Um, so yeah, the sharp fourth just gives it that kind of Lydian dominant sound, which is a bit more interesting. So that's a good one to use. The next one, the fifth mode. That one you could use on say an A7 with a flat 13, because it's basically like a mixolydian scale, but it's got a flattened sixth, a flattened 13th. So. And then you've got uh, the the sixth mode we're on now is this one. Um... Now that one works really really well for playing on a minor seven flat five chord. So what what jazz musicians call half diminished. So because it's got it's got all the notes of a B half diminished arpeggio there. So root minor third flat fifth minor seventh. seventh mode is the altered scale. So I already did my video about the altered scale so you can check that one out if you're interested uh, and then that takes us back to the first one again, so the melodic minor scale. Okay so there's a lot of different sounds in there, I mean some of them are kind of more easily usable than others. The ones that I really use regularly are the Lydian dominant, the altered scale, the melodic minor itself. Um, but there's plenty of other cool sounds in there which I'm going to be working on and trying to incorporate into, into my improvising. 